I'm in southern Ibaraki today, about to just go into the mall. This is actually Japan's most famous mall, or at least Japan's most famous brand of mall, the brand Eon Mall. You can find them all over Japan. They just build these giant shopping malls in the middle of these Inaka areas. Like, I'm in the countryside. There's no tall buildings or anything like that. I figured I'd show you my personal favorite Eon Mall. It has a lot of stores that cater to me and what I like. They always change out like these booths inside the mall to different things. Like there's different fairs that they have. So cute. Siyawase. Happiness. The mall will always change their decor depending on what season it is. And right now, because it's Tanabata time, they have where you can hang your wishes and stuff and, and, and write, write down what you hope for the future. I should do one. I'm gonna do pink. My hand keeps stuck into the paper. I'm sweating. Nihongo jōzu ni naritai. I want to become good at Japanese. They're gonna know that this is written by a Gaikokujin because of how terrible it is. Let's tie it. Let's, let's tie it here. There you go. You just tie it up, and that's uh, Tanabata for you. I've looked at a lot of these before, and a lot of them are not so serious. They're like, I want to see this band, or I hope this idol that I like it lives a good life, or I can't wait for this next season of anime. Like, so sometimes <laughs> it's stuff that's not serious at all. It's kind of funny. We'll head into one of the stores that I like to frequent personally. Animate. Usually animates are found near stations or a lot of anime stores in general. So it's cool to have one. It's like really convenient to just have one in the mall here. Super convenient place to buy manga. They have all the current Oshinokos here right now. A lot of this is a uh, current running anime series. Just about every Eon mall I've been to has a cinema. Oh, check this out. I didn't even know there was gonna be a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Here's the Japanese display. This looks so sick. This is so cool. What's coming up next? Ah, the next quintessential quintuplets movie. I'm not sure what this is. Master of Skiru. Master of Skill for the Glory. I have no idea what this is. Mission Impossible. You can come into Japanese movie theaters and t just take these little posters for free. These little mini advertisements for the movie. It's pretty awesome. A lot of Japanese malls have a store called Village Vanguard. They have a bunch of meat stuff inside. This uh, Chikawa character is so popular with like high school students and kids these days. Chikawa, apparently there's like, he has his own little manga, his own little anime. Village Vanguard is just a generally good character shop, anime store. You can even find stuff that you wouldn't normally find in anime stores like Rama One Half stuff, Urusei Yatsura, that's making a big comeback. This is all Rumiko Takahashi stuff right here. Well, okay, and then there's also Card Capture Sakura, Digimon. <laughs> the amount of anime stocks you can get in Japan is so cool. <laughs> Blue Rock ones. Oh man, the Chigiri. Chigiri, by the way, is my favorite boy from Blue Rock. There's so much stuff in here. <laughs> Put in the comments which Pokemon plushie you would take home with you. I already have this one. I have Luffyon, my favorite evolution. Look at these. Oh my goodness. They're so fluffy and cute. If I had to pick one to take home with me today. Ooh, I do like Shaman a lot. The amount of Animal Crossing stuff now makes me so happy. I remember like it was kind of hard to find Animal Crossing stuff for a while. Like when I first visited Japan in 2014, there was a ton of it because New Leaf just came out and then there was no things for a long time. And you know, about a year after the New Horizons release, there started to be a lot 
<laughs> I'm just adorable Animal Crossing stuff. This little tissue box, little acrylic stands. I love the laptop case. If I had a laptop this size, I would, I would actually literally probably buy this, to be honest, if I had a laptop that size. <laughs> Bath bombs are so huge in Japan. There's so many of them. We're gonna head in this little stationery shop. It's really cute. There's something so peaceful and fun about clean, organized, like a clean, organized stationery store. <laughs> Every time I come in here, I'm like, I don't need anything. I don't need anything. And then I find something I need and I buy it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, awesome. I didn't even know they had this in here. They have a Copic marker section. Copic markers are, man, I remember in middle school being so obsessed with these, but they were like $7 a marker at the art store. Here you can get them for 400 yen. They're just the perfect marker to make these amazing works of art, just like this. I'm glad there's no one in here today. A Tuesday morning, I was hoping no one's gonna be in the mall, right? Oh, actually I do need these. They're like study cards. You can put vocabulary words on them. Maybe this one. See what I tell you. Every time I come in here, I'm like, oh, I don't think I need anything. And then I find something that I want slash need. I need these for Japanese study. I can just write some vocabulary words on them. While I'm in this bookstore area, I'm gonna grab me a coffee. Actually in this cafe, I don't know why. I don't know why this is here, but they have this bochi that I rock set up here with the pictures from Bochi the Rock, the manga over there. <laughs> Just in a regular mall cafe, all this Bochi the Rock stuff. I guess just advertising the, the manga since the bookstore is right there. So this top floor of the mall has a lot of my favorite places, has a lot of hobby shops. So there's a game store right here. Um, there's like a hobby collecting store on the other side. There's an arcade. Uh, we're gonna hit up all of them. This shop has the lottery system where you can buy a ticket. Like for example, this one's 500 yen. And then you get a chance to get one of these items. See, in Japan, if you go into a store and you see something like this nearby and you see like merch with letters on them, they just, you, you can't just buy the merch straight up. You have to buy a lottery ticket for it. And then like here, like one of these, you buy one of these and then you get a chance to win one of the items. And to be clear, every time you buy one, you do win something. You do win something, you just don't exactly know what it's gonna be. This hobby store is so good for gifts. I think they got like puzzles with characters on them. I always think puzzles make a good gift, but then I would feel like I would be pressuring the person to solve this the puzzle. Like if someone gave me a puzzle that was a thousand pieces or something, I'd be like, can I even do this? They do look so nice when they're done though. The little Hatsune Miku room miniatures. Oh, these are cute. You can just make her whole little room. Where are these at? Hatsune Miku room. I know that Christmas in Japan is not as big of a deal as it is in the West, but I just keep thinking about stocking stuffers. Everyone is always looking for stocking stuffers and stuff like this. It's so perfect for that kind of thing. Oh, I love collecting these. Do they have who I need? Oh, I am tempted to get Kasumi. I do like Misty quite a bit. Oh, they have. There she is. I need her so badly for my next Hokkaido trip. I usually find them on sale at my grocery store though. So I kind of, I've never bought one of these at full price before. That's kind of my thing. It's like, oh, I want to buy them on a big sale. This one has a uh, Toreka. Oh, here, I'll show you the sign. This is why Katakana is so useful to know. So Toreka is trading cards, figure, anime figures, hobby, just hobby, hobby stuff. So yeah, hobby shop. Oh my god, I love the Sonic character sleeves. How cute are these? We got the singles. We have anime figures, anime merch in this shop too. It's very organized, like this is all Kimetsu no Yaiba right here. 
uh, Sword on One Line, Reincarnated as a Slime, Uma Musume Pokemon, Twisted Wonderland, Spy Family. Man, I love how organized this is. Sometimes you go into anime shops, it's an absolute disaster. You have to dig for what you want. Haikyuu, Tokyo Avengers, My Hero Academia, Japanese Tip, Sono Hoka, or Sono, is it Sono Ta or Sono Hoka? I think it's actually Sono Ta. <laughs> Sono Ta or Sono Hoka. I don't know. I'll put that. I can't remember because I'm dumb. It's like other other series that maybe aren't so popular so they don't have an entire bin to themselves. We also have retro games in here. Star Ocean. Still in a box. And then yeah, video games. Look at these huge packs of manga that you can get like entire, let's see, Hunter Hunter, how many Oh my god, this is like put together. This has gotta be how many volumes worth of it? This has gotta be like 40 volumes of manga. Yeah, 1 through 37 for 8,330 yen. That is crazy. This probably is all of Full Metal Alchemist. 1 through 27. Let me tell you, if you buy whole packs of the manga here in Japan, it's it's just so cheap. Some arcades are definitely not okay with you recording, but I've noticed that countryside ones, oh my god, I found something I want. Uh, I tried to win this, okay, I want, I want him so bad. I've noticed that countryside ones, countryside arcades, they're more okay with you recording. At least I haven't had a problem. It's always just Tokyo that has like so many problems. And signs posted everywhere saying you can't record. All right, anyway, oh my god, this looks really flimsy. This right here. I don't know about this, guys. Uh, I'm so bad at these. Oh my gosh, it's so flimsy. The hook, there's no way. There's no way. The thing about arcades is that you'll find these plushies in secondhand shops for so cheap afterwards that it's like, you may as well not even try to win them. I mean, there's a thrill in winning them, but there's also a thrill finding them in a, in a secondhand shop for less than you would put in the machine to win them. Mario Kart o noremasu. If you come to Japan, I do recommend doing the, the Mario Kart arcade machines. They're super fun. I know it's just like, oh, it's just Mario Kart. Oh, is this them over there, over here? Yeah, these are super fun. You can play with four people at a time. I think you get like three races for 100 yen. I don't know if they have these in America. I haven't been to a round one or anything in America. Or any, you know, arcades seem to be becoming more popular, but this is what I like though. There's no one here. There's no one here right now. This is my favorite arcade game though. Tune in them. So fun, and they always have anime collaborations and stuff like that. All the anime songs are in here. Hatsune Miku songs, the most popular J-pop songs. Super fun game. This is the food court, which is Japanese favorites like KFC and McDonald's. Famous Japanese foods. I think though I'm gonna go downstairs to the restaurant floor. What do I want? This whole aisle right here, or this whole hallway right here is uh, the restaurant floor. That dude's making yakitori. Mall Chinese food, it's good wherever you go. It's good in America, it's good here. They have bento, you can just take, take stuff to go. We have some rice, um, almond tofu, I believe. Some veggies and egg soup. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is gonna take so long to cool down. One more place I wanna check out, the Gachapon store. It's just like a small store just full of the Gachapon machines. My weakness. <laughs> this march up right here is like, it's my sleepover and I get to choose the movie. <laughs> I always think these are cute. They're little Weiss Schwartz cards holder, or just really trading card holders. They have characters on them and then you can place your little card on them. The Pokemon ones are so popular. Pokemon, Gira Gira Sunshine. <laughs> cute, Pastel Beach. Ooh, these are always cool. Sega History Collection, and it's like, you can get the Mega Drive, you can get the Mega Drive 2, just technically Sega Genesis in America. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you a quick look around the most famous mall in Japan, at least the brand of mall. You'll find them 
everywhere. I think there's gotta be one in every prefecture. I would be really surprised if not. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.